So let's move on to yep. some of the laws. Um, yep. Where would you like to start? Uh, well, anywhere you like, really. Uh, let's start with, um, I mean, this is, a, this is one that I quite often come back to, the viability principle. Mm -hmm. um, so a system's defined as a system's viability depends on how well it can balance autonomy with cohesion and stability with change over time. So in any organized system, there's kind of two big tensions that are happening all the time. So, you know, the, 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 that tension between centralization and, and you can do what you like and the tension between doing what we can do and doing something different. So, you know, the, the, the world outside is demanding that we're able to do something different. And how do, we, how, do we, how do we change that? So you can kind of think of them as two elastic bands that are being stretched, you know? And um, since we're in, in, in project world, you know, you apply that to the world of projects and it's really, really quite interesting because, you know, you take a waterfall example and you know, that's, that's heavily centralized. You try, you know, you do the plan to, to, to sort of reduce the autonomy of the parts as much as possible. You know, you deviate from the plan on point of death, really. And you don't want, the, you know, once the plan's in place, you've done the change bit, you know, it's just, it's just make it so. And you compare that, for example, with Agile, which takes, you know, stretches that in completely the opposite direction. So you max out on autonomy and you build in the, you know things everything's changing all the time so so in project world that 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 kind of that tension unfolds in very very different ways depending on you know um on how you look at that how you approach the the, the viability principle the viability principle is is at the heart of the viable system model which is at the heart of the governance model in projects from uh, in project x so works right. uh, with the Project X team, well, the governor's bit of that um, on, on that. And, and the thing we were looking at there is distinguishing between projects where basically the environment's stable. You know, what we need to do as a project ain't going to shift. We're building a bridge and it's between point A and point B and they're still going to be there, you know, yes. um, versus um, projects where the world is like which are dynamic the world is likely to change and of course the way you approach the governance is totally different in in the two cases you know <laughs>